Ladies and gents, Six Figs here from YouTube, and in today's video, we're talking about the one and only Nervous Network. Boom! Joy ID in today's video. My goodness, they are just hitting it out of the park, and we're going to kick this off in the Bitcoin forums. Like the last video I did on Joy ID, we were scanning, we were scraping information, looking for Joy ID stuff, and here it is struck on the Bitcoin forum, folks. So, Somebody on here was asking about a Joy ID wallet on the Bitcoin forum. And I was reading through this, and to my surprise, Cypher Wang responded. And he dropped some absolutely insane alpha on how this Joy ID app works. Uh, I will link to this in the description or the pinned comment as well, so you guys can look through this. But basically, Cypher Wang, which is one of the Nervos Network founders, who's been in crypto uh, for a long time, right? Thank you for introducing Joy ID to the Bitcoin forum. I'm Cypher, the founder of Joy ID. I'm delighted to be here to discuss our new solution to wallet tech. Allow me to provide some insights into the mechanics. First and foremost, it's crucial to highlight Joy ID is a non-custodial wallet. See, he understands this. That's a necessity. Now, the server will never host your keys in any form of key shards, important. With Joy ID, you retain 100% control over your private keys. Folks, not your keys, not your crypto. That's just, that's the sad fact. Furthermore, our wallet doesn't directly access your biometric information. Now, there is some really great information here on the Joy ID app and how it works. I'll let you guys look through it if you want to. But this thing launched yesterday. I thought we were going to get Joy ID soon, but I didn't think we were going to get it this soon. So this is here. I thought we were going to get it at the end of the month or maybe next month. Uh, but there was some issues with CK Bull Wallet. Now, CK Bull Wallet is a fine wallet, folks. It's really outstanding. I love it. But... There was some issues when trying to transfer CKB from that wallet over to Joy ID. So they just need to update a few things over at CK Bull Wallet. Things should work, right? Uh, donate three, folks. This is a like a Bitcoin uh, Ethereum. This is a crypto GoFundMe uh, website. Uh, this is really cool. Now, this is something that's needed because... What makes me mad is when some of these big corporations, now I understand that they got to take a cut at GoFundMe and all that stuff to keep their operations going, get people paid. I get that. I don't have a problem with it, but it seems like they gouge a lot of times. So this is one of those tools that you can use to really kind of cut down on that third party stuff. And they went ahead and integrated Joy ID into their platform out of the gates. And they recommend it over Coinbase Wallet, MetaMask, Rainbow, and Wallet Connect. That's saying something there, folks. They want the, the most user-friendly experience for their customers. And so what are they doing? They are recommending Joy ID. So that's great to see. Uh, also, folks, we got some insane stuff going on with DID, which is Decentralized ID. And they are partnering with the Bank of China to empower C-I-I-E, at C-I-I-E online, AI zone, building the digital smart city together with industry giants like Sony, Bill Billy, and Intel. Billy Billy is huge. So this is uh, absolutely insane uh, with, with everything. So uh, DID is this way for all of these uh, companies to create digital IDs for individual users. And Nervos Network really thrives when it comes down to that. Uh, much has been written about proof of work and cryptocurrencies mining effect on the environment, yet people still believe that mining is a waste of energy and a net negative for the environment and society. Let's debunk some myths, this underlying narrative. I'll go ahead and throw this in the description, the pinned comment as well. This is a great read because a lot of people go ahead and think that, oh, these crypto miners are, oh, they're warming up the earth and all this stuff. Well, you know what? They are accounting for such a little tiny piece of the pie when it comes to energy usage. Now, there was one graphic here that I thought was absolutely insane and let me find it here quick is this it building yes here's bitcoin so domestic tumble dryers use 
more energy than Bitcoin miners, almost by half. And tumble dryers, folks, what, you run them every three days, every four days when you need to do the laundry? I mean, nobody's getting on Amazon or Facebook or Google for their data centers, which are gigantic, uh, you you know, waste of energy, but they're going to get on Bitcoin. It just doesn't make sense. This is a phenomenal read. So whoever put this together, great job. Um, now to the charts, folks. I know I was kind of thinking that we were going to see this little flag or falling wedge maybe play out. And I was going to try and catch this lower trend line here. And folks, what happened? Well, let's just take a look at the markets. They're kind of red right now. Uh, but here it is. What happened with this? Well, you can see that the price came right down, but it didn't bounce off my trend line. So I got snubbed out from my buy order by like a half a percent here. Let's just measure that. I had a buy order on this trend line. And it was about building 0.69%. Building. There it goes. It strikes again, right? So what I'm looking for right now is there's several possibilities with Nervos Network uh, price action. And since it technically didn't come down to the 61.8, we might not be experiencing a harmonic pattern here, but I'm not going to rule that out. I'm just not going to rule that out because we could have just had some crazy, crazy buying going on, especially with the news releases and things like that. So do I think that we could be gearing up to see Nervos really start to play within this little falling wedge that I had drawn up last night? Keep in mind, folks, you know, we were right here. This was the eight hour chart. So let's go back to the eight hour chart. Oh my goodness. Uh, so, you know, you guys can kind of see where this is playing. We got some spinning tops. Technically, you know what? We've got an interesting setup as well. I do think that this, this Elliott wave theory to the upside is just going to produce this corrective wave and that's okay. But if we can get an entry point down by this 3.45 and we hold that and start to bounce, you know, I might take a little bit of a long position on that. So not financial or trading advice, but uh, I'm hoping to get right down to that three, four, five, four ish level, which kind of on this four hour chart, it kind of lines up very nice with this uh, 50 moving average. And I'd like to see this price bounce off that 50 moving average, at least come up for a retest of that 382-ish level, folks. So, I mean, it is what it is. We're just going to have to watch what's going on here with the prices of CKB right now because there's two things going on. We're looking at maybe doing another double top at that 0.038-ish, 0.0038-ish level or 0.0038 level, excuse me, down to that 0.0345-ish area. It's just kind of in limbo right now, but we'll throw down another TA video on CKB tomorrow or maybe Friday, and we'll look into what's going on, what the markets are doing, things like that. So I love you all. See you guys on the next video.